Welcome to this screencast all about how to launch an app in Edmodo and how to start up MobyMax, which you'll be using for math um, for the first time. So let's go ahead and log in as our fictional student. So I've got my username and password in here on the Edmodo login page and I'll log in. So as usual, this is going to take us to our home screen. And so we're logged in as Johnny C, who is another fictional student. And so these are the groups he's part of, Mr. Wood's class. You will probably have other subjects on this side. And then these are the um, latest updates. So over here on the right-hand side, this is the app's launcher. So right now it has the planner app and it has an app's launcher button. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the planner to start. So I'm going to click on that app and it loads up in the window here and this is a calendar. And you can use this calendar to find out when assignments are due and when special events are happening. This is a week view. You can change it to a month view, which is my favorite. It'll show you the whole month. I'm going to go over to September here. And it'll show you all the things that are, are due or you need to do in September. So that's the planner. Um, you can also add things into it by clicking on a day and then typing in some information. And you can change the date if you would like, the due date, and create. And then you've just created a reminder for yourself. So you can, you can put all of your practices or extracurriculars, birthdays, things you need to remember for school, they can all go in here. So to close an app, we go up to the X here on the top right corner. We just click on that. It'll take us back to the home screen. So that's the Planner app. Now, you'll have access to other apps that the teacher enables for you. To access those, you click on the Apps Launcher. And this is a list of apps the teacher has enabled for you. So you can explore any of these. So there's one we're going to be checking out today, which you'll be using a lot for math, and that's called MobyMax. And that's the one here with the picture of the whale. Now, because we're going to be using it a lot, I'm going to put it in our shortcut bar, which are these yellow boxes here. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it over into one of these boxes. It turns green. And then it's saved here on the right. Now, every time I log into Edmodo, it'll always be there. So it's easy to start the program up. So I'm going to start up MobyMax. All right, so this is the MobyMax main screen. Yours may be a little bit different. There are certain modules here under the subjects that may be on or off, depending on what time of year it is and what we're studying. So we're going to go ahead and go into the math subject box here. And because this is the first time loading MobyMax, today we'll start with your placement test. You're going to this have to important. do a placement test. So I'm just going to mute that. And a placement test figures out what you already know in math and what you need to learn. So it will figure out what sorts of math activities you need to do specific to you, where you're at, your level of math. So to do the placement test, you just click on the arrow down here. There are a bunch of uh, instructions that you'll hear. Now if you ever get stuck on an instruction 60, 70. and you're not sure what it says, you can click on the speaker here and it will read the question to you. So let's try that out. Count by tens and fill in the blank. 40, 50, 60, 70, fill in the blank. 90. Okay, well I know the answer there is 80, so I'll type that in. I'll click on the box and type it in, and then click on the arrow to go to the next question. Alan had two pennies and found three more. How many pennies does Alan have now? Okay, well I can count these up. One, two, three, four, five. So two plus three is five. I put my answer in and go on to the next question. So the idea is that you go through all these questions. It'll take a few minutes, and then it will figure out exactly where you are in math. So I'm actually going to uh, go back to the home. I'm not going to finish the placement test because we don't have enough time. So one thing that's really neat about MobyMax is that for every five minutes you spend working in math or another subject area, you get one minute of game time. So if you click on games here, it will show you how much time you have. So your current game time is 0 minutes 12 seconds. You need to have at least one minute banked so that you can play one of these games for a minute. 
So again, that equation is for every five minutes of work you do, you get one minute of game time. So that's something to work towards. So to close this app, all you do is click on the X here, and that will take us back to the home screen. All right, that's everything you need to know for now about apps and MobiMax. So thank you very much for listening.